Hey guys, and welcome to another video. So, tough times indeed. Everybody basically is quarantined, um, at least in the United States, all of Europe, uh, previously Asia. Looks like they're starting to get back to it. But basically this video, I just want to make a video about what to do during this time. So, unless you're um, in a medical field and God bless them, um, doctors, nurses, all the professionals working out there, pretty much on the front lines, God bless you, doing an incredible job, being very brave um, during, these, during these times. And then uh, for those who have been told to stay at home or work at home, um, this video is about what I would suggest in terms of what to do during this time. Who knows how long it's going to take. Um, hopefully it's going to end sooner rather than later, but... Just assuming, let's say for the next few weeks, month, to pretty much the stay at home order, depending on what state you're in, is going to be in place. So, a lot of people are going to have a, you know, pretty much a lot of free time. And there's some things that I'm doing right now to keep myself busy. And I just wanted to make this video in terms of what I'm doing and what I would suggest for, you know, others as well no matter what your age is and what position you're at. Now as a caveat though, and if if you're unfortunately maybe in a hard spot, let's say for thousands of people that are, um, you know, that have been laid off, your number one priority obviously is to find a new job and, you know, gather that support in order to pay the bills. But let's say that you're a little bit more fortunate and you're able to work from home or you have an online business that is already paying your bills so you know you're covered and you're basically just sitting at home because you can't go out and you know you're self-quarantined so this is that video for those having all this extra time of what to do so first and foremost i'll suggest not to just you know, binge watch on movies and Netflix, Amazon Prime, HBO, eat junk food, and just play video games. Now, there is so much time to, yes, everyone's going to be doing that at some point, and it's okay, it's fine. I'm not saying not to do it, but if you're spending all day, half the day, just streaming on movies and shows and just eating whatever you want, then coming out of this, um, that's not a healthy habit, but you didn't really accomplish anything because to, even though it's a hard situation, to look at it from the other point of view as like a positive, this is a time to actually get a lot of stuff done in terms of planning what you want to do with your life, maybe learning a few things, whether it's a new skill uh, online. Um, there's websites such as Skillshare and Udemy. Um, I think one of them, I think it's Udemy, they're offering like a free month now or whatever. But basically these are these online sites that you can watch tutorial videos on a number of different topics. And you can pick up a skill. And uh, another thing that you can also do is learn a language and stuff like that. So what I'm going to go over is what I'm doing and some recommendations. And hopefully that will help you get through who knows how long how much longer this is going to take. So first and foremost is reading. And I, before all this happened, I have already been reading, especially post-college, on books that I want to read. And this is like, can be self-learning books, history books, whatnot. So uh, Amazon is still working online. Uh, who knows, maybe they have a back order on some stuff, but more, th more of that later. But you can still order stuff off Amazon. And if you have Prime, it comes relatively the next day or two days or whatever. So first and foremost, reading. Reading is amazing in terms of like learning stuff um, and kind of diving into history, depending on what topics you like. So on some of the books that I'm reading, um, I've read this before, but I'm kind of brushing up on it. But one of the more recent ones I've taken it back to we're looking back on is uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, The Cashflow Conjurer. So this is a, not the famous book, the Rich Dad, Rich Dad, Poor Dad original book, but he's come out after that a number of other books, and this one's The Cashflow Quadrant. So I read this before, but I'm kind of brushing up on it again. And then another book that I just finished is How to Think Like a Roman Emperor. 
So this is more of that kind of stoicism philosophy about, uh, it's not a biography, but it's about Marcus Aurelius kind of looking at his life and some of the stoic ideas that um, he practiced that help him make decisions and how that can be helpful to you um, in your present day life. And it's actually a great, um, uh, a great topic of what we're experiencing today because of all the ups and downs and all the, you know, quote unquote crisis that everyone's kind of going through. So it's that stoicism in terms of, you know, being positive and how to, you know, how to make it work and finding a way through. So I just got done with that. And then currently, um, it just came yesterday, but a biography about Ray Kroc, uh, grinding it out. Ray Kroc, he's not the, he's not the founder of McDonald's. Those are actually two brothers in San Bernardino, California, but he's the one that really franchised McDonald's and grew it and expanded it to the you know the empire of what it is today so i just started it um and you know i'm going to be reading this and finishing it and then after that going to be looking at a few other books what i do is i have so many books in which i refer back to so i sometimes may refer back to them and then obviously go online and pick up a few um that other people recommend and stuff that can be you know enjoyable trying to learn something and whatnot so books is fantastic and it's something that I would recommend all of you to do and it will, it's better use of time instead of just been watching documentaries and TV shows even though those are you know good for entertainment books is the way to go and if you don't like books you know reading it there's also audiobooks as well and podcasts that's something I would also recommend. Second is uh, doing as best as you can um, trying to work out staying fit. So most of all the gyms across the country in America and then probably same thing in Europe are closed for obvious reasons. So that should not be an excuse though for you not to continue your workout. So yes, maybe not so much the weights and for those who have a home gym, you're very fortunate. Um, that's something in the future that, you know, when I have a, hopefully a bigger home or, you know, a home to kind of like, I'm, this is where I'm saying my roots. That's one of the things I want to do is build my own gym. So for those who have it, you're extremely lucky. But for those of you who don't, um, definitely the push-ups, uh, sit-ups, and you can still run, you know, outside in your neighborhood or wherever you are. So I would suggest dedicate 30 minutes to an hour every day. It sucks, you know, not having the weights, but it is what it is. You know, you have to be adaptable. You have to adjust. So I would do uh, push-ups, sit-ups, and then go for a jog. And um, now it may be a little bit too late, but you can look uh, either on Amazon, Walmart, or Target and see if you can order some dumbbells. And I, I went over this past weekend. I went to Walmart. I went to Target. They were all sold out. And then I looked online on Amazon and Walmart, and they're kind of on back order now. I was still able to manage to order a few, but, you know, everyone, since their gyms were closed, obviously they went to the stores, bought everything up, and they went on Amazon and Walmart and ordered. And I tried to go to Dick's Sporting Goods, but the one by me was closed, so I would assume that's nationwide. But I would try to bring in or develop some kind of workout routine. I mean, naturally, people are going to be less active if they're being at home all day. But like I said, you can do your as best as you can to be, you know, be active. 30 minutes to an hour every day is still beneficial and it's a lot better than not doing it at all. So this should not be an excuse. And then to kind of tie into the working out is to, you know, still maintain a healthy, healthy diet. So even though you're not, you're being less active, you still control what, you know, what you eat. And if you're just binge, binge eating on, everything that you can, um, you know, unhealthy foods, snacks. I mean, like I said, it's good now and then to eat it, like I eat, eat them, but you should also still be watching your diet and making sure that you're eating healthy. And, you know, it's a great way too of doing that now Then when all this is done, if you didn't have a healthy habit to begin with, healthy diet, then creating this and then continuing on is only beneficial, um, you know, for you in the long run. And then lastly, um, is kind of harping on what I began with is kind of really mapping out and all this time now will, you know, free time, you know, forcing you to be at home 
gives you time to kind of reflect on the current status of your life. Now, let's say if you like it, what's other ways that, you know, you want to improve it, or if it's not in the, you know, the place that you want it to be, how can you change it? And you don't have to like radically change it. You know, it's hard when you have all these different things, but step by step, you can start to think about, are you happy with the career that you're in? Uh, if you own a business, you know, what are other ways to improve your business? Are you happy in the location that you're at? If not, then decide where you want to be and what are the steps that need to take because nothing happens overnight, nothing happens within a day or within a month. A lot of these big decisions come over time, but it's these action steps that you need to take. And now is a great time to kind of map that out and kind of reflect on is, okay, if I'm not in the position that I want to be in my life, um, map out a road, you know, map out a roadmap and where you want it to be and what you need to do within the next month, few months and year. And now is a time in which you'll get that real, you know, sense of clarity of what needs to be done. And, you know, when you have all this free time, hopefully it's quiet, um, you know, you're to yourself and you can kind of be in the zone turn everything off, shut everything off, and kind of just really on a notepad, um, personal folder, uh, personal um, journal, whatever whatever you want to call it on your laptop, do that. And then also, like, if you have a passion for blogging, making videos, or doing something that really you always kind of put off of because everyone loves the excuse of, I didn't have the time, now you really don't have an excuse. You can kind of start um, playing around, testing, doing that. And then who knows where that might lead to. You might have a passion that you didn't think of it before, but now that you've had all this time and you actually started doing it, you're like, wow, I really like this. And you can start to do that as well. So now really use this time in which you can kind of map out and have some clarity reflection of, is this, you know, is my life to where I want it to be? If not, uh, what can I do now? and to make sure that it goes into that direction, especially when all this stuff is hopefully lifted in the next few weeks, months, whatever the case may be. But in the meantime, control you know, your actions today and take it day by day. And then as you'll see, it'll get you through. And then hopefully the results will start to happen once you, you know, everything is lifted and you start living the way that you want it to be. So, Lastly, and again, um, I'm not saying to become a robot. Yes, take some time, watch you know your TV show, uh, watch some movies. You know, enjoy. You know, don't what I was saying. Don't make that the primary. Don't make make it like you're spending all your time on that. It's just when you're doing this other stuff that I would recommend. And then at the end, yeah, definitely enjoy. But if you're not really motivated, then yeah, do whatever you want. You can watch movies, binge watch Netflix. But don't complain then if your life is not to where it, where it is because if it's not, then doing that is definitely not going to help. What I recommend or what I would suggest would provide some clarity to move you in the direction that you want it to be. So guys, with that, I know it's hard. I know it's, it, it can be boring, but this is what I'm doing to kind of get by. And it's, you know, it's not the most ideal situation, but it is what it is. No complaining. You just have to adapt and continue to push through. So guys, with that, um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. If you found it helpful, please pass it along and share. And again, I release one new video every week. Uh, please like and subscribe. That will mean a lot to me. And again, everyone, um, be safe. You know, I hope everyone gets through this. I know it's tough. So, you know, wash your hands. <laughs> Make sure that you have, you're practicing the social distancing. So again, everyone, thanks so much for watching this video. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.